Hi everybody, my name is Lewis and this is Traditional Bike Powder. Today we're going to take a look at this, the Jeff White French Trade Knife. Alright, so this is the uh, Jeff White French Trade Knife. Um, I found it on the web for around uh, $40 and let me give you some specs. Uh, the um, steel is made out of hard carbon steel, 1095. The blade length is about five and a quarter inches. The blade width is about one and a quarter inches. And the uh, blade thickness is about is, uh, 330 seconds. And it is a full tang knife. Let's see if you can see that right there. And the handle is made out of uh, curly maple and it's about four inches long. And it does have a 90 degree spine. Now it doesn't come with a leather sheath it's you can get one but it doesn't come with it and uh, the cost of that is thirty dollars so so the you know the knife is around forty and and the sheath is about thirty dollars so I don't know I mean for me I didn't get it with a sheath um, I decided that somewhere down the road I'm going to make uh, my own sheath so for uh, the, the price is home the price of the sheath is almost worth the price of the knife so I don't know, I have to leave it up to you to think, if you think that it's worth it. Yeah. Now this is a uh, convex, a convex grind, you can see over here, and it's done to a uh, very nice finish. And it's pretty sharp. Uh, the handle is beautiful, I mean, uh, I mean, I particularly love wood, so um, it's, a, it's a nice curly maple with some stripes. It's well finished, you know. The transitions between the middle and the handle, you can't feel anything there. You know, it's the same thing on the bottom. So it's very well done, very comfortable. You can still see some of the markings of, uh, of uh, forging the knife over here. That's obviously left on purpose. And overall, it's a, it's a beautiful knife. It's uh, well done. It has, uh, it, the handle is retained by the three pins, which is kind of a traditional way of doing knives back in the uh, 18th century. So that's kind of a nice touch if you like the, you know, the kind of a period knife. So let me give you a couple of things that I think maybe are, it's well, not necessarily negatives, but maybe a, at least for me a short shortcomings of the knife. Um, for me the handle, I mean, I, I have large hands and if you can see that, you know, if I, if I want to get a full grip on it, my forefinger is very close to this and it is kind of a sharp edge over, not, not behind it, but I mean it does come to a sharp point. So, not the most comfortable if you're going to do heavy duty with it. So, for me, the uh, the handle probably could have benefited from uh, having a little bit of extra room, maybe another half inch or inch. And uh, for large hands, I think it would have been it would have been perfect, you know. Because there's if you want to back off of this piece right here, your pinky has nowhere to go. So. If you want a full hand grip, you're kind of committed to having your finger right next to that point right there. The other thing is uh, the way that the blade was finished, perpendicular, straight, and coming to a sharp, you know, sharp point right here. I think it probably would have been better if it had some kind of a finger choil that kind of curved around and give you a little bit extra room when you put your finger up close. So to me, the um, it would have probably benefited if the point over here came to uh, uh, kind of a round finger choil, so you can actually get your hand in here without having this sharp point right by your finger. You know, it's not. Uh, I wouldn't say that's very comfortable. You know, so I think that would have helped a lot. Other than those two things, I think um, you know this is this is a pretty nice knife for the price. 
I mean, you're looking at uh, 40 bucks for 1095 steel and curly maple handles. And it looks, um, you know, it fits the period, you know, uh, uh, 18th century, which is something that I'm interested in. You know, it kind of fits with the muzzle loaders that I have. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice addition to, uh, to the collection. And like I said again, the uh, negative things would be the short handle, the choil, and that it doesn't come with a sheath. You're going to have to uh, either make your own, which is probably what I'll wind up doing, or um, you're going to have to fork over 30 bucks, which is almost the price of the knife. That seems kind of high to me. So for me, the reason I bought this is because I like the uh, period, the 18th, early 18th century period, and this seems like a, a nice replication of uh, that style knife. You know, it has, uh, like I said, the nice handle, and uh, and it's pinned the way it used to be done back in the day. So uh, it's a nice uh, representation of a 18th century knife. So I would use this mainly for light camp chores and uh, also it fits into you know the muzzle loading uh, that I and the muzzle loaders uh, that I have because they're all you know traditional muzzle loaders and I probably would use this as a uh, patch knife because I do shoot uh, ball and patch and uh, even though it's, it's a little big it's not heavy it's a it's a very it's a very light knife and uh, well executed, well done. Uh, Jeff White did a nice job on this. And like I said, for $40, um, I think it's worth it. Uh, I think I failed to say there earlier before that uh, this does come with a uh, convex grind. So, and it's, uh, and it's very well done and it's fairly sharp, you know. I've used it on a couple of things, you know. But uh, since I'm only using this for, for camp chores and uh, uh, and a patch knife, it's it doesn't, uh, you know, it's not going to be a uh, heavy duty use knife. So again, this is the uh, Jeff White French trade knife. I think it's a good representation of the period. And if you like those kind of knives uh, for 40 bucks, I think this is worth it. Uh, I think you're getting quite a bit for the money, even though it doesn't come with a sheath. Uh, you can go out and make your own for relatively cheap. So, thanks again for joining me, and until next time, keep the tradition alive.